Hello friends. Welcome back to Mia's Spice World. Today I have come with a must have kitchen product very useful in every household. It is a vegetable chopper from Butterfly and we will be unboxing this product and will do a quick demo. So stay tuned. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and also hit the bell button. I bought this butterfly vegetable chopper from Amazon online. This is a 600 ml manual chopper which is ideal for cutting vegetables quickly. They also have a 900 ml capacity chopper at a discounted price. Though the MRP shown on the box is rupees 914, you can get it at a discounted price of rupees 263 from Amazon. that too with the same day delivery at certain locations the chopper comes with a 30 day warranty if broken you can call the service support number and get your chopper serviced if you have ordered it through amazon you can get a replacement or refund from amazon itself now let's quickly unbox and see what comes with the box here We have the vegetable chopper and an instruction manual come warranty card. This chopper comes with a three blade stainless steel design and is made from ABS plastic for long lasting use. In the bottom they have also provided an anti slip rubber beading for firmer grip. Normally For any chopper you may face two issues as you start using this product. Firstly, the blades get blunt and you will need to spend more effort in pulling the strings to get your vegetables cut. Secondly, there may be an issue with string recoiling. The chopper string gets struck and it becomes difficult to have a smooth motion to cut the vegetables. For now, We do not know how this chopper is going to perform but we will keep you updated in future. Let's chop some vegetables and see how it performs. Here I have taken some carrots, beans and onions cut into big chunks. Firstly, let me put some carrots in the chopper with blades on. Close the lid and pull the string to chop the carrot. Ensure that You place the vegetables in the chopper after cutting it into chunks. Do not put whole vegetables as it will not get chopped. However, I found that the blades were not as sharp as my previous choppers. Therefore, I had to put more effort to cut hard vegetables like carrots. The size of the cut vegetables depends on the number of pulls. If you need to cut finely, then You need to pull the string number of times. Once it is done, open the lid and remove the blades. Then transfer the cut vegetables into a container. Now, let's try cutting beans. As mentioned earlier, beans also needs to be cut roughly before you put that into the chopper. You can even cut vegetables and store it in fridge in an airtight container the night before for your sabjis and curry. This way not only your cooking time will be reduced but also your time spent in kitchen. Always keep a check on the size of the cut vegetable while chopping. This will help you to get the desired size for your sabji or curry. Similarly, let us also cut onions in this chopper. You will be able to cut onions roughly or finely. However, if you go too fine, then onions tend to mash and let out juices. Therefore, you will need to be careful on how fine you want your onions to be cut. The other good thing is that you can avoid crying as the onions are cut in a closed container. Transferring the cut vegetables as well as cleaning this container after use is also very easy. 
overall a good sturdy and compact vegetable chopper for your daily use in kitchen i have just started using this chopper and i will keep you updated on the performance and the usage in the coming videos meet you soon with another interesting video until then keep smiling and stay safe